Hi, this is Sue Polinski from Tech Triad, and the uh, tutorial right now is going to be how to edit the footer on a page when the footer is not really part of the page but a separate file uh, that we call an include. Now, I am currently looking at the home page of our test site. I'm going to edit the page and show you what you've probably seen before that when you scroll down to the bottom of an editable page you learn that the footer is not editable. So what we're going to do is cancel this edit because this isn't what I want to do. I want to edit the page that only contains the footer. Now if you're working with uh, Tech Triad, we'll tell you exactly where your footer is but chances are it's in a folder called Includes, and it probably has the name footer.html. Now, I can't expect you to remember that, but we will tell you that if you contact us, if you don't know where your included files are. Sites built in the last, oh, two, three years, it's probably in Includes. If they're older than that, it could be somewhere else. So I press the Go button, and there I am. I have my footer and it's pretty plain and it doesn't actually look like the footer after it publishes but if I get the text right I'm good so I'm gonna edit the footer now we're in editing mode and I want to tell people that this is really the phone number so I'm gonna say phone and I should really include the fax number so I'm gonna say fax and type in my fax number which is always hard to remember and I can go ahead and publish the page and that will update my entire site every page that uses the footer and I'm going to use the back button to go back to the home page and scroll down and refresh this page and we will have an updated footer now let's say what I wanted to do was go to the about us page there's my footer and I noticed that I'm not linked on my follow us on Facebook link to do that I need to edit that same page includes footer.html I go to edit the page and I do the link in here exactly the way I do it um, any place else. Now what I've learned by testing this a couple times is contribute hangs up when I do this. But I'll show you how it works and let's see if I can make the page work. It hangs up because it's a Facebook link. If I said create a link, browse to a web page, and I know my web page is facebook.com slash tech triad. Now nothing can happen until that preview loads if you do anything before loading that preview it will crash but because I did this a few minutes ago it was kind of in my memory in my in my computer's memory if you're doing this you want to wait even if contribute looks like it's gonna crash wait until it finds your Facebook page but I want to do something else. I want to use my advanced area and I want to open this in a new window. It'll open in a new window or a new tab depending on how people have their browsers set. But I don't want them to leave my site but I do want them to see my Facebook page. So I click OK and now I publish the page and if I use my back button to go back to the previous about page you'll see whoops maybe we should refresh this little page we'll see that Facebook is now a link and it is linked to the Facebook site that I told it to go to and my updated information is here so when you want to edit an include in fact when you want to edit a menu which is also an include you have to edit the specific page. That was a lot of information. Watch the screencast again. Contact us. We'll tell you where your includes are. Good luck. Have fun.